Volume navigation also forms an excellent basis for a completely new form of ultrasound-guided puncture. In an ultrasound-guided puncture, it is important to hit the intended region directly, whilst avoiding complications which have been previously identified. However, in order to do so, both the region and the passage of the puncture needle need to be optimally visualized. Where the root of the puncture needle is relatively vertical and almost parallel to that of the ultrasound beam, we often get only a reflex from the head of the needle. In contrast, where the needle runs at a right angle to the beam, we can see the entire needle and are able to monitor its route significantly better. Here, volume navigation functions as a simple aid, allowing us to set markers as a guide for interventions. In this patient, you can see a focal liver lesion of unclear malignancy in the right lobe of the liver. First, I've marked the optimum route to the puncture target and the puncture route as a sort of middle ultrasound beam from the skin through to the target region. Now, the intervention can't be carried out whilst simultaneously scanning from this position, either because the transducer is in the way or because we have the needle visualization problem that I've just described. However, we can place the transducer in a different position to make sure that we scan as far as possible at a right angle to the marked points, and we can easily find these markers from any other position of the body. This gives us the best means of visualizing the needle as it passes along the optimum puncture route. Volume navigation has already been adopted for guidance in special puncture systems. Here, you can see intervention needles with integrated sensors, which allow the needle tips to be recognized as markers within the magnetic field. The sensors are housed within the shaft of the needle, and, therefore, they don't come into contact with the body tissues. The sensor needles are encapsulated in a thin sheath, which subsequently serves as a guided pathway to the intervention location after the needle has been withdrawn. This makes it possible to place the needle precisely from any position, either along the usual needle route in the ultrasound scan plane being displayed, or using the following fascinating method. After saving a current 3D volume block of the region being examined with ultrasound, this data set is uploaded as a reference volume for the intervention, as demonstrated earlier in the section on fusion imaging. Now, during the intervention, in addition to the current ultrasound level, an additional intervention level can also be chosen at any time and displayed. This enables the needle to be used to find a direct route, free of complications, with the tip of the needle being simultaneously displayed on both levels and with a pre-calculated meeting point displayed in the target area. This method is certainly very helpful during complicated interventions and can help to reduce interventional risks. It should of course be noted that the needle sheath makes the overall diameter of the needle a little larger. However, the advantage is that the guiding sheath need only be placed once, allowing subsequent multiple biopsies to be taken with a reduced risk of needle track seating.